coming black. Hello YouTube, this is Magnolia Mo and you are watching my channel. Welcome to episode 2 of Movies with Ultra Low Frequency Bass. In this video, uh, the two movies that I'm going to test for bass purposes uh, are Wonder Woman and Batman Begins from Christopher Nolan. The reason why I picked Wonder Woman um, and Batman Begins is, is simple, right? Uh, you know, we've, we've all seen demos for, uh, you know, Godzilla vs. Kong, Kong or uh, I've done one for Aquaman. You know, we, we know, we're all familiar with movies that have uh, uh, have really deep bass and we've seen some of the bass tests on YouTube, right? I wanted to do some, uh, you know, pick two movies that, that we normally don't think of uh, as having ultra low frequency uh, bass, right, in, in, in the movies. And that's the reason I picked uh, Wonder Woman because, uh, you know, the initial scene where, where, where her bracelets, right, she discovers the power of her bracelets. Uh, that scene, um, I, you know, I know it has, uh, I've always known that that one scene had a lot of bass uh, in it. Um, and to the point where, you know, I used to have these, uh, the Martin Logan Theos, right, I've talked about those before. Uh, and, um, and, and one day, uh, I don't know what transpired but but uh, you know I, I do a lot of testing and and I had some for some reason I had turned uh, I had uh, dis, you know disabled the subwoofer right and and essentially in the processor I had just made the theos large no sub I had all the bass going into the front to the front speakers uh, and and I, I was watching um, um, Wonder Woman at that time uh, and and for that scene uh, the, the, I'm telling you I kid you not I got scared uh, completely out of my mind because I thought I had blown my speakers that day uh, with the with that thunderous you know bass sweep that happens uh, in that scene and and so so I I picked that movie for that scene but then I kept going right I kept going um, and and then uh, the next scene that I uh, did the bass test on is scene seven. Uh, after it's around one hour seventeen mark, and then onwards, uh, that's when Wonder Woman uh, first reveals uh, herself to us, right? And um, and then um, they enter this village, and then there is this uh, battle that ensues. Uh, throughout that whole battle scene, there are 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 you know enormous amounts of low frequency uh, ultra bass effects, and and then um, the 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 capper to that is is uh, the the final battle uh, battle uh, scene where where it's in you know in the compound of of the of the village you know you have the sniper you have that um, armored vehicle uh, that whole sequence is full of low frequency uh, ultra low frequency um, you know bass right uh, effects so uh, and and uh, and that is what I tested for Wonder Woman and it was great right like my whole room again uh, you know was shaking I did not uh, turn the volume um, beyond didn't go beyond minus 13 on my Marantz uh, because I'm obviously afraid of blowing my subs um, I'm sure they're not gonna you know they're not gonna blow or nothing's gonna happen but you know it's just just how I am I, I'm very careful but even then you know the 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 um, uh, uh, the, the DB level uh, in in that during that scene, uh, you know, goes over 105, 110 dBs, right? 110 dBs. You know, for this room, that's a, that, that's pretty loud, um, and uh, and and uh, it's just amazing, right? To actually watch the frequency response, uh, and uh, and this is just all about you know the frequency response. You know, obviously, enjoyment of the movie is separate from from this geeky stuff that that that, that I'm doing here, but but it's still it's amazing, and then. Uh, the uh, you know Batman Begins. You know, I've always known uh, the, the the scene. You know, with the Batmobile. Um, you know, the chase uh, through Goth Gotham City, where the cops are are, are chasing Batman, and in in the Batmobile uh, with um, um, 
doesn't matter. I forget her name. Um, either way, uh, with Rachel. There you go. With Rachel. And, uh, and uh, that scene, again, uh, I, loads of uh, ultra low frequency, uh, you know, as, as you're going to see in my base test over here. And, and uh, it was amazing as well uh, to actually finally, uh, you know, see it on my omni mic right so so the batman uh bass test is without the rest of the 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 speakers is just the subwoofers because uh um, i was kept on getting a copyright strike uh for that scene and then uh, wonder woman uh is with the rest of the speakers um and because there's not uh, a lot of music uh, there is music but uh, enough for me to not get a, a copyright strike so uh, I hope you enjoy these two two clips uh, and and the base tests from these particular uh, movies and um, and be on the lookout for uh, you know upcoming episodes of uh, uh, you know of ultra low frequency movies with ultra low low frequency effects. All right, so here's the setup. I have the SVS SB three thousand in the back of the room. Um, <clears throat> And the SB16 Ultra in the front of the room, across from where I sit, where I have the Omni mic set up and hooked up into my Surface to get the readings. And here's the SB16 Ultra for source. I'm gonna use the Panasonic UB820 um, along with obviously physical media, and I'm only gonna run my processor, which is the Marantz 8805A. Uh, for just the LFE purposes. I'm going to turn off the amplification and, um, and let it rip. All right, so let's get on with it. Okay, so just to put everything in perspective, I'm running short sweeps uh, using the Omni mic. I just want to want to get get a baseline for my dual subs here for you guys, right? So um, <clears throat> with the Omni mic right there in my main listening position, I am running short sweeps. The volume level is at about it's it's at minus five dB, and um, here is the sweep. So the blue curve is the Odyssey corrected curve, and then the red is in pure direct. So the blue, as you can see, it is um, twenty hertz, about twenty hertz, right? Is at ninety four point six dB, and then uh, 89.8 dBs at at 14.86 hertz. Uh, so it's very good usable output with the with the dual subs. And then from a, a setup standpoint, uh, you know I did run uh, the PEQ. Uh, I adjusted the 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 peaks and and um, and the nulls using the PEQ that's built on the the SVS uh, subwoofers using the app. And then I ran Odyssey. So this is my Odyssey corrected curve, the blue, and then the red is the pure direct. I'm going to run um, the movies and the demos uh, for the base using Odyssey, not in pure direct mode. Okay. Never let your guard down. You expect a battle to be fair. A battle will never be fair. Holy Damn. Ah! Never let your guard down. You expect a battle to be fair. A battle will never be fair. Same scene. Just want to show the excursion of the SB3000. At the one hour, 18 minutes, 40 second mark, uh, this uh, scene with the tank. I think this has got some real deep bass as well. So take a listen. Check out. 
ground. The star of the show is at the 1 hour 20, 25, 20 minutes and 25 second mark uh, where, um, you know, Diana kind of jumps over, uses the whole shield technique to get the sniper. All right, so here we go. Boy, we're going to put this on our backs. And when I say go, lift hard. So what do you think? Does it come in black? picks up quite a bit If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, um, like, and share my videos. If you are, uh, you know, one of my subscribers uh, or constant viewers, I thank you for, for hanging in there with me as I grow this channel. Um, and um, until next time, YouTube.